We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we're diving in. We're getting to check out Demon Slayer. Kimetsu no Yaiba, the Hinokami Chronicles. It's by Sega slash Atlas, and it released originally on October 15th, 2021, but they just released a character pass. And I was fortunate enough, and they were generous enough to not only hook me up with the game, but also the character pass. So I got like everything there is to get about this game. So a big shout out and a thank you to Sega slash Atlas for all that you did for me. I appreciate it. Above and beyond, it is very, very much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That being said, we're going to dive in and begin, but this game does have licensed music, folks, so you will not get to hear the amazing music uh, this time around. But if you get it yourselves, you'll be able to do that. Huh? It's going to be pretty cool. Anyway, pretty excited. This is a very fun and interesting anime. I've enjoyed it so far from what I've seen, and it uh, looks like the game is going to be a lot of fun as well. So, without any further flim-flam and ade. Let's get into it. All right. I think we're going to see like a whole bunch of unlocks here. Redeemed character, unlock key, Kimetsu Academy Tanjiro, Kamado, and uh, Academy Tanjiro. All right. Redeemed character, unlock Kimetsu Academy, Giyu Tomioka, mm -hmm. uh, Kimetsu Academy Shinobu Kocho. That's going to be Giyu and Shinobu are the fighters. Then we also have the Tenjin Uzui, uh, five quotes, five profile photos. That's for the Uzui character pack. And then there's some more as well. Uh, the following elements have been added. New fighters, new reward boards, online missions, and new battlefield. All right, so let's dive in and begin our journey. Original story by Koyuharu Goto Gotoje. Illuminated by firelight, a spiritual dance begins. Within the blaze burns a courage tempered by battle. In this conflagration, bonds between warriors are forged. They crystallize together into the pillars of today. Pillars with the strength to slay demons. Even so, the fires of conflict rage on, demons against humans. Within the blaze, Burns a courage tempered by battle. Yeah. Within the blaze. Burns a young man's determination. Sweet. Uh, produced by Aniplex. Um, just so you guys know, if I didn't mention earlier, this is the PlayStation 5 version of the game. Too slow. Sabito said, no. Get out of here. Sabito's movements are so calculated. If I don't focus, he'll just keep deflecting. True. Tanjiro Kamado. You were once so pitiful, but look at you now. You finally learned proper breathing techniques. That's all it really takes to defeat demons. You've swung your sword thousands of times. Even as your arms were screaming in pain. No matter how many times I knocked you down, you got back up and challenged me again. That shows true strength. The fact that I am facing you with a real sword this time proves it. We <laughs> finish this tonight. Summon every ounce of determination you can muster. I won't be holding back. And neither should you. Now come! Get him, Tanjiro. All right. Uh, here we go. Battle screen, part one. At the top of the screen is a set of two gauges. The green bar is health. Uh-huh. And the blue bar is skill gauge. If reduced to opponents, so HP above zero, you win. Uh, your, skill your, your skill gauge depletes, excuse me, as you use your skills. Makes sense. 
but it replenishes itself naturally over time. At the bottom of the screen is the special gauge, which will fill as you hit or get hit by an opponent. Once you fill an entire bar, the number to the side of the gauge will increase. You can stock up to three bars this way. Consume special bars to boost your strength or unleash your ultimate art. All right, finally, the circular timer next to the combo counter indicates how long you can continue your combo. Okay. Uh, and the length is determined by the attack used to start the combo. The green, or I guess that's kind of green. It's more like a... It's like a light bluish green. Yeah, anyway, uh, is long, uh, yellow is medium, and red or orangish is uh, short. Try to pull off a powerful combo before time runs out. If you hit the opponent just after the timer runs out, they will be blown away, forcibly ending the combo. Okay. Let's go. Oh my goodness. All right. So where where do we see this combo gauge? Okay, I see it right there. So that's your plan. There it is. While holding R1 throw. Okay. Oh, like a grab throw. I got you. Bam! Big old headbutt. And we chopped him off at the knees. Quick step and guard. All right. Overlook the basics. There it is. Not bad. Sure. To use the skills Earl Kodaki taught me to take down Sabito. We form waterfall basin. There it is. Okay, then we got the tilting with it. It's the second form. So you can. Is that water wheel? Okay, sixth form is whirlpool. And then tilt while pressing heavy at the same time. Got it. There. That's it. I need to summon everything I'm capable of. Chase dash. Oh nice. L2 is boost. During surge. I will not yield. Alright, and then the ultimate art. Water breathing! I feel like we may have uh, kind of flexed on him a little bit there. You've grown strong. There you go. S rank. Oh, we missed. We didn't see the thread. No, we lost our air, our air. We know that's fatal. You lack resolve. Remember what Uro Kodaki taught you. Yeah, Uro Kodaki taught me a lot. Move your legs. Don't stop now. If you call yourself a man, then do it. Unless you plan to lie down and die. There's nowhere else to go but forward. Yeah. Now get up. Grab your sword and face me again. If you can cut this boulder in two, I'll allow you to enter final selection. Not to be confused with the final countdown. <sighs> a boulder. Sorry. To cut it. Stop. I need to defeat Sabito. But no matter how many times we fight, you get the idea. So, uh, yeah, Sabito beating our booties a little bit. Why? Where did I go wrong? Like, you just need a quick how power did now. Things turn out this way. I was just living my life day by day. Yeah. This Doing a... honest work with my family. It's a real sad story. Like, real we sad. Poor, but we had a nice meal in town once in a while. How it all went down. We, we're so happy. We've jump cut past most of his origin story. Your happiness is destroyed. You'll find the smell of blood in the air. I think that's actually how the show starts. That line. That awful day. Yeah. What's the that? one night I didn't come home. Mom. My siblings. They all died. They were attacked by a demon. And that was it. It must have been painful. You suffered, didn't you? I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. I... I'm sorry. Yeah, real, real sad uh, start to you're this suffering one. too, aren't you, Tanjiro? Nezuko. The sister. Get up. You don't need to suffer alone. I'm here too. It's true. Together, 
You and I can overcome this sadness. Don't you think? Except Nezuko looks a little different than she used to. That's right. I can't forget that we still have each other. Nezuko. That night, your humanity was torn away from you. But you still managed to hold on to one important thing. Your own life. Sabito's right. Go forward. There's nowhere else to go! And part of her wits. She she kept some of her wits about her. I'll find a way to make Nezuko human again. I'll avenge my whole family. I made my decision when I picked up the sword. Now! Tanjiro! Alright. Finally. You've grown into a real man. If I gave up now, Nezuko would never go back to normal. Besides, Orokodaki has done so much for me. And I can't waste Makomo's training. Let's Today's do it. The day. Carpe I diem. Defeat you. Let's seize it, buddy. Or carpet de demo. Alright. We're doing battle again. Uh now, show me what you can do. That didn't work at all how I planned. I charged into him, he just mocked me. You'll know how strong you truly become. Will you fall to the ground once again? Or will you finally come out on top? Show me! Got me again. I'm I think I did it. It's time to finish. So this it's weird. Every time I did the like the the chase charge thing, he hit me every time. Well, I did twice. He's Both times he hit me. In that case. Oh, he's gonna see. He's gonna see the thread. Concentration. Water breathing. Uh, quick time events. Striking time. Uh, rapidly. Okay. Tai? Wait. No. Tanjiro is... A thread? There! The opening thread! Faster! Uh, oh, got it! Nice. I, I didn't know if I needed to go fast or, or, or slow, but I saw the ring and I'm like, maybe I gotta hit the ring at the right spot. It looked like I did it. Well, that was weird. I was not expecting quick time events on that. Huh. Neat. So there's something special about the, the these two. Sabito and uh, Makomo. <sighs> Keep winning, Tanjiro. You must defeat him. You know, he feels like he cut through Stabito's mask, but maybe he did something else. <gasps> the boulder. He cut through the boulder. Where are Sabito and Makomo? Hmm. <laughs> I didn't think you would actually do it. It's Uro Kodaki. Hmm. To be honest, I never had any intention of sending you to final selection. And yet? I couldn't bear to see any more children die. Yeah, you know... I was sure you wouldn't be able to cut through this boulder, but... You know, you might need to disclose stuff a little bit more. He's keeping some well stuff from done, us. Well done, my boy. Truly remarkable. 
I am proud, you know. Make sure you come back alive from final selection. Your sister and I will be waiting for you. Aw, it's the first bit of real kindness that he's gotten from Udo Kodaki. Or anyone, Within really. The blaze burns for a, a young while. man's determination. And with this in his heart. Demon Slayer. He walks the path of a demon slayer. Kimetsu no Yaiba, the Hinokami Chronicles. Do recommend you guys check out the uh, the anime. If uh, you like what you see here, you'll see they did cover, and they're doing a pretty good job of covering. Again, not 100% not beat for beat, because they did leave some stuff out, but it's possible that we'll be able to find that as, I don't know, maybe extra story fragments later, or maybe flashbacks, or what have you, but yeah, they did a pretty good job there. All right, uh, story. Pro okay, so we're here. It shows what we did for the chapter. A rank breakdown. I landed three or more skills. Landed one or more throws. Boosted surge. Landed ultimate art. One within 182. Okay, with 77 seconds. Uh, okay. Interesting. And then what do we have on this? We have the S rank on this as well. HP remaining 71%. And we get based off of that. Max combo was 19, which was pretty incredible. Times 10, so 190. Uh, landed five or more skills. I only landed three. Boosted once. Didn't surge. Didn't land uh, one or more ultimate art. Obtained at least 16 flames. Yeah, I did. I got I got all of them, I guess. 16's the, the, the goal. So I, I guess I did that perfectly. Survived with at least 75% health. I did not do that. Finished in 42 seconds, which is less than the 180. So good ranking overall. Yeah, we'll take it. Cool. I, I like that they give you a kind of a breakdown. I mean, I don't know how much I'm going to be chasing those S ranks. I'll do the best I can always, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to. Bend over backwards to get the S rank. Or will I? I have no idea. From the storyline, you can experience the story of Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. The storyline is divided in several chapters, and once you complete all stories in a chapter, the next chapter will be unlocked. Once you've completed a chapter, you can go back and play it again from any point. Nice. Memory fragments allow you to learn more about a character's past and events that unfolded behind the scenes of the main story. You can obtain them by proceeding through the story or finding them in areas you explore. Areas you explore. Uh, in addition to viewing them via the movie, whatever, on the storyline, you can also select Memory Fragments option from the storyline menu or from the pause menu while exploring. Okay. Press the circle button to return to the main menu where you can play various battle modes and view or acquire rewards. A new chapter has been unlocked. Press R1 to progress to chapter one. A new playable character is unlocked. They will also be able to instruct you in training mode. Interesting. Jinjiro Kamida, or Kamido, excuse me. Uh, Sakonji Urokodaki, Sabito, and Makomo. All right, sure. New playable characters unlocked. We have the Academy. We, we did these guys earlier. Uh, new battlefield unlock, boulder clearing. Uh, new battle attire, training, uh, no mask, and rewards menu unlocked. Wow, so many things unlocked. Again, big shout out and a thank you to Sega slash Atlas for hooking me up with all this. Uh, it is greatly appreciated, and I do thank you guys so much. The content update has been added. New reward boards, lower rank 5, upper rank 3, arrow demon, Tamari Demon and Demon of Sleep, Fugitive Demons, and Hashira. I don't know what most of that means. It's fine. Three reward panels unlocked. 20 reward panels unlocked for Prologue. 20? What? All right. Well, you know what? We'll we'll start diving into some of these other things, like uh, these memory fragments, uh, a little bit later on. Let's, let's just go into Chapter 1, go a little bit further in, and then we'll break off this first episode. All right. The last hurdle. 
All right. Tenjiro has trained long and hard under his master, Urokodaki, in order to find a way to regain his sister's humanity and avenge his family. After witnessing Tenjiro overcome the Boulder Trial, Urokodaki allows him to participate in Final Selection, the last step to become a Demon Slayer. Yeah. It's... It, it's a lot. Poor guy. Tenjiro's had a... A rough time of it. It took him about two months to do the boulder trial and all the stuff he learned from Uro Kodaki. God. He's gonna get some delicious hot pot here. Hmm, looks good. Thanks. Dinner's almost done. Clean up and come eat. Oh, thank you. I I'm sorry. I could have made the food. It's nothing. It's the least I could do. Fair enough. <sighs> Thank you for the meal. The time has come. Right. Final selection is at Mount Fujikasane. Fujikasane. I've been there a few times, but it's a very strange place. How so? It is something you'll have to see for yourself. I'm sure it'll surprise you, too. I see. No doubt. What's this? It is called a warding mask. It is enchanted with a protection spell to keep you from harm. Sweet. Take it with you. I mean, if you insist. Got it. Thank you. This is all that I can do for you now. The rest is up to you, Tanjiro. Yeah, you're you're sending me into Make sure you are well rested. Pretty much certain doom, buddy. I got my eye on you. And I, I know you're uh you're keeping some things from me, buddy. Don't appreciate that. Where did the mask go? I sat it down next to him, but I wasn't that's fine. Got the weird toe split shoe things. There's the sister. So his entire family, as you see there, was murked by uh, some demons, and then his sister was turned into one. I still don't know why Tomioka didn't slay Nezuko, or why he told me about her Okodaki. But it's thanks to him that we're here now. So essentially... If I join the Demon Slayer Corps, I'm bound to learn more about demons. She's never tasted human flesh or killed Either a human. Way, it seems like my best shot at figuring out how to turn Nezuko back into a human. And she recognized... But to do that, first I have to pass final selection. She recognized Tanjiro, so... She wasn't just a mindless Nezuko. demon like most turn, turn out to be or tend to be. She's been sleeping since we got to Uro Kodaki's place. The doctor didn't find anything wrong with her. But it's not normal for her to be asleep this long. It's like a two-year nap. It's probably fine. I'm worried she'll just never wake up. You're gonna be okay. Right, Nezuko? One can only hope. So, since she never tasted... I'm going to go out for a bit, but I'll be back soon, all right? Since she never tasted human flesh or, or you know, did any of, that, now. any of that stuff, uh, and the fact that she had her wits about her, recognized her family, and, and went to defend them, she realizes, or the guy that was there to kill her, the Demon Slayer, realized maybe there's Don't a chance she can be saved. Sister. I'll take good care of her for you. And sent him here. Thanks for everything. You have a keen nose, like me, Tanjiro. Perhaps it will be the key to your survival during final selection. My nose? You must sharpen your sense of smell and sniff out the dangers around you. I know you can do it. Just be sure to come back alive. Right! Guess I'm off! See you later! All right. Oh. You have two maps at your disposal. This is interesting. Uh, the mini-map 
The map in the upper right corner of the screen, this provides a quick look at your surroundings. The full map shows a general overview of the area you are exploring. View it by pressing the triangle button. Your destination will be marked with the double exclamation point. Progress the story by heading to the double exclamation point and or talking to the characters you find there. While exploring, you can open the pause menu by pressing, we're going to say start. From there, you can access rewards, memory fragments, archives, tutorials, and options. You can also return to the storyline. Cool, what this? I didn't really fully expect to be running around. This is kind of cool. You can view the memory fragments you've obtained at any time by selecting memory fragments from the pause menu. They're scattered all over the maps for you to discover, so keep an eye out as you explore. What's this? I'll have to take a closer look at this later. What I, um, kind of hoping for here is that we'll be able to potentially, maybe, actually, like, wander around and find, like, additional fights and stuff. I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't need to go this way. Better try somewhere else. Okay. So it does keep you on the path. And then we see our, our path and where we've walked, which I'm a fan of. That's always nice. Uh, sorry, wrong button. Uh, check. Huh? It's the wooden sword I used during training. I swung that thing more times than I can count. It's thanks to Uro Kodaki that I was able to become a swordsman. There's no words to express my gratitude to him. If you see a blue exclamation point on the map or while exploring an area, that indicates an available reward mission. Complete all reward missions in a named set to unlock a reward panel. Okay. Well, I didn't complete the reward. So just, it's just like, go, it's not, not a fetch thing, but just go there and trigger the events. See what they say, and that's that's all you gotta do. So if I go here and do this, I'll get whatever you were talking about. Huh? It's the house I stayed at with Uro Kodaki. Not only did Uro Kodaki watch over my training, he took care of both Nezuko and I. I just can't thank him enough. Yeah, okay, I got whatever the reward pan. Okay, sure. Yep. Let's talk to Uro Kodaki one hmm. last time. You've gotten stronger, but don't let your guard down. Demons can think and move faster than we can imagine. Leave yourself open, and they'll take your life in an instant. You must do your best. All right, got it. Okay, we're running over here. What's okay. this? Kometsu points. Interact with glowing spots on the field to get Kometsu points. These can be used to unlock reward panels. Be sure to explore every nook and cranny to collect as many as you can. Aside from finding them in the field, you can also obtain Kometsu points by completing certain conditions listed in the rewards menu. Some of these conditions can only be completed once, while others are repeatable, marked with a little green circle arrow thing. You can earn Kometsu points by completing repeatable conditions as many times as you like. Okay, that's cool. Alright, yeah, I think we're going to have to kill it here, guys and gals, before we go off on our adventure and head to Mount uh, Fuji, Fuji Kasane. We're just going to have to break it off here. And in the next episode, we'll continue our adventures. I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually had a lot of fun playing this. A uh, big shout-out and a thank you once again to Sega Atlas for hooking me up with the code for this. And, the, and of course, the character pass, which we'll be able to get into a bit later on. Uh, if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, publisher, any of that stuff will all be down below in the description of the video with various links, just like I always throw at you guys. If you happen to enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share. You guys know the YouTube score. And until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.